Hello, my dear students. Welcome to another video class. Today, I'm going to teach science of class seven. And uh, today, we will learn, or I will teach lesson number thirteen. This is a revision. Lesson number thirteen. We have already uh, completed lesson number thirteen. So we'll do the revision of lesson number thirteen. Motion in time. Lesson number thirteen. Revision. The uh, name of the lesson is Motion and Time. Motion and Time. So we will start with the introduction part. Introduction. So the movement of a body The movement of a body or object is called a motion. So the movement of a body or object is called a motion. And in order to measure sorry, in order to measure time we need a motion that repeats that repeats itself at regular interval at regular interval so since the name of the lesson is motion in time, since the name of the lesson is motion in time, motion means the movement of a body. And in order to measure time, we need a motion. Motion number changani in order to measure time. So in this lesson, we have already discussed uh, four subtopics, or you can say this lesson contain four subtopics. And the topics are slow and fast, and then speed is there as a second subtopic of this lesson. And then a total a total is not four; it's a five subtopics. Measurement of time. Then measuring speed. Then distance time graph. So total there are five subtopics under the under motion in time. Under the relation motion in time, there are five subtopics. The slow and fast is the first subtopic, then followed by speed, measurement of time, measuring speed, and the last one is distance time graph. So we will start with slow and fast, slow and fast. So we will start with slow and fast. Slow and fast. Slow and fast, tappa amadi yang bahagini. Example, when loro gati yam laina, in order to understand easily, let's take an example. An aeroplane an aeroplane runs faster than a train so when you compare train and aeroplane it is obvious that aeroplane runs faster than a train and slow or air Sorry, slow and fast. I mean, the slow or I mean, slow or fast. I mean. So when you compare which one is a faster uh, between aeroplane and train, obviously you will find that aeroplane is much faster than a train. 
So an object which makes, so how will you know that which one is faster than the other? So the answer will be an object which slow or fast. No, the object I'm going to I do slow or fast or basic. I'm going to come in here. An object which makes a longer time, a longer time to cover, to cover a certain, to cover a certain distance. To cover a certain distance is called slow. Aduna slow atapusi karam kanda kuni tapi hai gini hai gadi. An object which makes a longer time to cover a certain distance is called slow. Makes a longer time to cover a certain distance. Idi jara mapam mama ma jaga distance ama cover to uda chat pada. Matamsi yam kuni sang a dimadu kuni slow kobi. Whereas another object which makes a shorter time. An object which makes a shorter time. Short tail matamsi yam na changram. Shorter time to cover the same distance. Masagi. To cover the same distance. To cover the same distance. Masagi distance to. I did distance a month from a month at the bottom da but I'm see I'm going to sing already but look in a slow corony I do a chap man I don't want to set the bottom the bottom see I'm the thing that ready when a fast car so an object which makes a shorter a shorter time to cover the same distance is called slow I'm sorry is called Shorter time chung matam chap mana mo hondo chat pada matam si yam na chung jagati hondo fast kawani. So an object which makes a shorter time to cover the same distance is called fast. So next topic is speed. Next topic is speed. So what is the definition of speed? Speed of an object is the sorry. Speed of an object. Speed of an object is the distance. Speed of an object is the distance traveled, distance uh, traveled by it in unit time. So, what is the uh, definition of the speed? Speed of an object is the distance traveled by it, distance can sadly in unit time. So what will be the formula? Speed is equal to distance travel by it. Distance travel divided by time taken. So this will be the formula. And what will be the unit? Since distance in is measured in meter and time in second, so the unit will be meter per second. And if the distance covered are fairly large, distance yam sang then speed ki unit si koina ka yul bhi kilometer per hour or issue kilometer per hour or issue. So if the distance uh, covered are fairly large, the speed is expressed in the kilometer per hour. Kilometer per hour da or issue speed si. A 
Uh, so we'll discuss about uniform speed and variable speed also. So one is uniform speed and the other one is variable speed, uniform speed. Okay, my speed for when uniform speed can be uniform speed. So when a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time, equal distance equal distance in equal intervals of time. The body is said to be moving with a uniform speed. Are we talking about uniform speed covering? Equal distance in equal intervals of time. Non-uniform. Non-uniform speed. Non-uniform speed. Or then a body is said to be moving with variable, a variable speed as. Non-uniform motor variable speed as. Variable speed. So a body is said to be moving with variable speed if it covers unequal distance. Unequal distance. Unequal. Manatab. Unequal distance. Unequal distance in equal intervals of time. In equal interval of time or equal distance in unequal interval of time. So, yeah. so current by speed we a variable speed ni high ni high the unequal distance in equal intervals equal intervals of time high high not regana equal distance in unequal intervals of time high So this will be the definition of variable speed. Then we'll move on to Next topic, this is uh, third topic of the lessons. Third subtopic of the lesson, that is measurement of time. Measurement of time. Measurement of time. Measurement. Of time. Measurement of time. The time is the moment or duration in which things occur. Time definition is okay, you know. Time is a moment. or duration in which things occur matam my so time is a moment or a duration in which things occur we measure the time We measure the time with the help of cloaks, with the help of cloaks and watches, with the help of cloaks and watches. So we'll discuss the measurement of time in ancient uh, measurement of time in ancient times so before the invention of cloak or watches how do people measure time measurement of time in ancient times uh, in ancient times, people used some natural events. Used 
some natural events here some natural events which repeated regularly which repeated regularly so measurement of time in ancient times hi nadi kamana ola me before the invention of clock and watches ta matlab se kamana ola me they used some natural events which repeated regularly example on the harbor the Uh, they observe uh, full moon occurs occurs uh, regularly after fixed time interval and sunrise also occurs uh, regularly after fixed time interval sunrise full moon full moon and then uh, sunrise and then uh, see ma'am see when uh, regularly natural events sing do mo ne observe to ga adu ni matu ni matam ji olami and find and we find measuring device device hai ga di natural events na to thine sin number device hai ga di device hai ga di kai kai wa ni sandal gumba musa de ko mummy ta halaga sand clock gumba then uh, water clock this is nami so modern basis of measuring time how is it when come in all have a time in energy modern basis of measuring time modern basis of measuring time how is it going to come in all eh the principle of periodic motion is used for the measurement of time how is it the principle of periodic motion in modern time then so the principle of periodic Motion is used for the measurement of time. Clock and watch, which are used for measuring time, are based on the principle of periodic motion. How do you observe when you see a number clock or watches? Clocks or watches? Is it based on one? It's based on the principle of periodic motion. Or you can say, clocks and uh, clocks or watches, clocks and watches are the refinement of periodic motion. One of one of the most common device which shows periodic motion is simple pendulum. Simple pendulum. I'm telling you, so I'm going to lecture in that explain that way. So one of the most common device, one of the most common device which shows periodic motion. Periodic motion put. मधु गुंब कमन डिवाइस से कभी नो है कि दी सिंपल पेंडुलम से सिंपल पेंडुलम सो क्लॉक्स एंड वॉचेस आर द रिफाइनमेंट ऑफ pendulum ki hai di based on the principle of periodic motion ni simple pendulum ma tang la si simple pendulum si thread thread am fix to ro ma dum da metallic ball am ya le ni si metallic ball si bob ko ya ni bo si mean position ni ma nu si le si mean position मेन पोजिशन से थांगल से फॉर एग्जांपल सॉरी मेन पोजिशन से थांगल से फॉर एग्जांपल ए है पोजिशन से ले मेन पोजिशन से ए से थांगल थांगल था इन बदे थादोक मासी से ला मोहल्ला मेन पोजिशन 
ताई की तंग हेंडो वगैरह मुसल्लम है नहीं अधूरा मुहल्ला है ऐसे थंगला नहीं था दो को मतलब दा अमूला करनी शिक्षा करनी की तंग हेंडो वगैरह चल रहा नहीं सपोज बी वो योर रेंज कर लो अमूला नहीं अन्य ये तो थंगला नहीं था दो था दो का अंदा हाने मिन वो जंजीर लाने की तंग हेंडो वगैरह नहीं मेन पोजीशन देगी चक्र का बी देगी चक्र का ए दो मुहल्ला पोसिबो मशी ए मशी हल्ला पोसी ए द हल्ला पोसिबो कोई ना मशी ऑसिलेशन हमें दे हैव कंप्लीटेड वन ऑसिलेशन शी ऑसिलेशन हमें कंप्लीट तो है ना कोई ना लवी एंड द टाइम टेकन बाय द पेंडुलम टू कंप्लीट वन ऑसिलेशन टाइम टेकन ऑसिलेशन हमें मेन द मेन पोजीशन दी हो रहा है दी और सही मेन पोजीशन दम वो हल्ला करना मतलब वो ऑसिलेशन है मनी ए देगी हो गया है क्या ना ए देगी चक्र का बी जो रहा है ए दम अमू हल्ला पर मशी ऑसिलेशन है मनी एंड द टाइम टेकन मतलब चंग मतलब क्या हम चाहिए हम द टाइम टेकन टू कंप्लीट वन ऑसिलेशन द टाइम टेकन टू कंप्लीट वन ऑस कंप्लीट तो उसे चंगी वो मतलब दुबो को ने कहीं कोई इस नॉन एस टाइम पीरियड को मशीन को कोई ना टाइम पीरियड को टाइम पीरियड एंड देन मीजरिंग स्पीड स्पीड तो लाजी मीजरिंग स्पीड फोर्ट मरी सुबह सब टॉपिक मीजरिंग स्पीड Measuring speed. Measuring speed. So we need two things. We need two things to find to find the speed. Speed is measured to be high target. There is a person who is young. Of a moving object. We do carry carry no higher than distance. Covered or distance covered. Or travel by the object and the time taken. Is this any? Distance is commonly measured to be high. We see a quick classic that I am here. And about the measurement of time, as in a class seven, the time ni, why did I use the clock or watches? Measure time ni. An instrument on a vehicle's dashboard, measuring speed ta, as in the vehicle the dashboard ta. Which indicates the speed of the vehicle when it is running is called the speed type. Speed indicate to be ba gari gari da gi dashboard ta speed indicate to be ba madu o meter du bo kena speedometer kawi. So with the help of speedometer, you can easily see or you can easily know the speed of the vehicle. So when you look at the dashboard of any vehicle you will, you will find a meter showing speed of the vehicle and that meter is called speedometer and one more meter is there in the dashboard which shows uh, distance traveled by the vehicle dashboard the distance traveled by the vehicle takpa madhu meter amu shiyangani madhu meter duna odometer kawai so what is the difference between speedometer and odometer speedometer tells you the speed of the vehicle and odometer tells you the distance covered by the vehicle and 
Next is uh, distance time graph, which is the last topic of today's lecture. Distance time graph. Distance time graph. So in the previous lecture, I've already mentioned that there are in your textbook there are three types of graph are given. Uh, the P is the bar graph period, and X have already explained about bar graph. Then Y chart is also given in your textbook. Then uh, line graph is there. Again. Line graph. Line graph. So here today, uh, this is since this is a revision of lesson number thirteen, we will discuss about distance time graph for uniform speed, non-uniform speed, and when the object is stationary. So we will discuss distance distance time distance time graph or uniform speed uniform speed then non-uniform speed when the object is stationary stationary so distance time graph of uniform speed distance time graph of non-uniform speed distance time graph of uh, stationary object distance time graph of uniform speed uniform speed with target the graph combiner you can have the I will see Mamangi next to the So regarding the, uh, if you are not clear or if you are confused about drawing of uh, distance time graph, please go through the lecture of uh, continuation of lesson number 13 in the video Mahapat Kivini. How to draw, how to draw distance time graph to the angular? Two straight lines, perpendicular, two perpendicular lines, x exists, y exists. Do you the X exists the time Lorena color, Y exists the distance Lorena color. Do you the scale so when I want to decide the whole company? Do you want to know when I time a distance graph? You'll come at the time give value, distance give value. When a graph the plot to home at the if we obtain a straight line, straight line from target D, this is a Madu Madu D straight line from the D. The distance time graph indicates the speed of the object. See, carry the hand Uniform speed. Uniform speed or regadi. Uniform speed or constant speed. Or regadi. Straight line from there. Non uniform or regadi. Curve line. Non uniform or regadi. So if the speed is non uniform, the target is. Graph C, you will get curved line. Then you reform the uniform is Then if the object, if the object is at stationary, swing length. Upon another, Tauga. Upon another length of the layer. So the distance time graph for an object which stops moving or becomes stationary is a straight line parallel to the time exists. Time exists a parallel line. I will the distance time for an object when stops. Leap curve. So now leap of a comma like it are the straight line from here, which is parallel to the time exists, which is parallel to the time exists. Uniform speed and then uniform stationary. 
when the object is at stationary. So three types of uh, distance time graph. Tilling as you already discussed already. So number one is when the speed is at uh, when the speed is uniform. Second one, is, second one is non-uniform speed, and the third one is when the object is stationary. Uniform speed or the straight line pangani, non-uniform speed or the curved line pangani, and when the object uh, in the distance time graph for an object which stops moving is a straight line parallel to the time axis. So with this I conclude today's lecture, uh, that is revision of lesson number 13. Thank you for watching. Thank you.